Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca. I made a how to tape your goalie stick video for with my Infinity Goalie Exosphere stick. As you can see, here's the tape. But I realized it was very long, so I'm going to make a very condensed version of it on my backup stick. Okay, again, so what you'll need to uh, tape a stick is for me scissors to cut the tape, tape itself, and crappy tape for the knob. So, first we are going to do the toe, which means we are going to do my wrap method, which means we have to extend the tape and put, keep it just over the edge like that. And as you can see on the other side, something like this. And then we wrap it around. Make sure it's there is overhang, like that, and then squeeze it together. That way the toe is covered. And now we need to cut the tape. And it's really bad when the stick is super sticky because it doesn't want to let go of your hand. All right, so we cut the tape and now we trim it off. Now I should have said this before. Uh, all, when you're taping a stick, it's all personal preference, so you can do it any way you want. If you don't want to do this, don't do it. If you just want to put a piece right here, go ahead. If you want the strip at the bottom, go ahead. If you want to tape from the toe to the top to your shaft, or sorry, paddle, go ahead. Do it any way you want. For me, this is just the way I do it, and so that's the way I'm going to show you. All right, for the next part, I start on the back where I just go close to the top. I try to make there be no gaps. We can wrap the top piece over to the front as well, just like that. And we pull it down with a little bit of an angle. Here I, I'm, I don't mind overlapping the toe with this just to start it off, but later on I'll try to use, I'll, I'll try to overlap the tape as little as possible. So then we go to the front and we pull it in. Again, so now we're doing the angle, so we hope to get a little bit of, or sorry, very little overlap. And so there's the front and we pull it to the back. And again, on that angle, pull it back to the front and continue the angle with a little bit of overlap. And here you can, hopefully you'll be able to see that there's just about that much of tape underneath it and that's it. So then just wrap it all the way to the heel and I'll cut this out and we'll be back when we're done. So now that we're coming to the end, um, this is where it's all about personal preference of how far you wanna go. And for me, I usually just go there and then come to the back and I'll just cut it off. Um, like I said, this is personal preference, so you might want to go to or past the heel and you might want to wrap it here. When I was younger, I did like a Halak, the way Halak taped it. So he would come over here and then tape it right here as well. But for now, I, I have no issues with just doing this. And so we got it that way. The reason I do toe to heel is because of just how I do player sticks. So when, you, when you're playing a lot with the puck, uh, you generally go from the heel or the middle of the stick and the puck rolls towards the toe. So that way the puck won't get caught up on the edges. Um, for, for goalie sticks, I don't think it matters that much, but for player sticks, it's just my, again, it's my personal preference. I think it makes the tape last a little longer and, the, and that's about it. Um, just make sure when you are doing this that you're pulling tight all the time whenever you wrap around so you're, that way it makes it so there's no bumps and it's smooth and you can just smooth it out with your fingers if you need to. But pulling tight and giving it a bit of an angle does really help well instead of just doing it softer. Or sorry, uh, with less pressure. So that's it for the toe. So I wanted to show an example of how I used to tape my goalie sticks. And that's with this tape down here and then the knob built up of tape at the top and it's like kind of round. I don't do this anymore because I found my hand kind of sliding up it instead of just stopping. So I had a bit of a problem with that. So I, I want to show it on this video before I took it off and taped it my new way. So now that we have that awful tape job taken off, we are going to redo the knob. And what I do now is I have this tape, which is this crappy normal size tape. And I just wrap the knob around like this, just at the very top. And just keep doing, uh, just keep going around and around until I find it's big enough for my liking. The way I find it's big enough, I slide my hand up, and if I feel like my hand's not going to pop over, it's good. So just follow along the tape like this until it's big, and that's all it is. And so I'll cut to when it's done because there's no point watching that. 
So now the knob is complete. So again, I use that so when my hand slides up, it will hit and stop. So that's about the thickness that I used. Um, again, you can do whatever you want with this. Showing some of it off there. This is just how I like it. That way my hand doesn't sit on tape or anything like that. Um, I'm just gonna put one layer of the pride tape over top of it because the NHL tape is awful and I don't want it to come undone and just to give it a bit of color as well. So there we go. And then we're just gonna do a little bit more just to get some green on there too. Cause again, I like color. And then again, you can do this any way you want. I would never use uh, tacky Mac. Sorry, yeah, I would never use a tacky Mac or a butt ends or anything like that. While tacky Macs are relatively cheap at like six bucks, my hand is never actually sitting on this, right? It's the only time it ever touches this is picking up the stick, sliding for a poke check, and the odd time I shoot. I don't shoot that much. I mean, most of the time, my hand's right here, right? So for me, that's good enough. I don't also like how there's like the end of the tacky Mac when your hand, it could roll over it, which I've had happen on uh, player sticks before. So that's why I would always just use tape. So that is it for this video, the shortened one of how to tape your goalie stick. Hopefully it was helpful. Leave a comment below of how you do it or if how I did it wrong or why mine is awful um, or if it was helpful. And hopefully it was a bit of help. And if you're looking at what to do, this would have been there for you. But anyways, check out uh, the description, subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Just helps me get more stuff so I can do reviews on. And then you get to see them in these videos like the Infinity Goalie Stick. So, thank you for watching and take it easy.